Hey guys, so let's take a look at Xiaomi's latest Mi UI 11. See, Xiaomi is having two firmwares based on different version that's on Pi and Android 10. Now that's kind of surprising, I mean why? So I just went with the latest cause that's what you guys will get with the final OTA, Android 10. Before starting a question for you all, which skin you like the most Oxygen OS versus pure stock Android versus Mi UI 11 from Xiaomi or Samsung's One UI? So comment down right now. Okay, so when setting up the MIUI 11, there was this advertisement settings which took a few settings just to get diffused, disable I mean. And then it gave a warning. Why can't you just remove the advertisement thing Xiaomi? Never mind, so the MIUI 11 is all about new changes and animations. Starting with the lock screen, you will start noticing new things like new animations, new ambient display and more. So unlocking the smartphone, the home screen icons pops out, which may look kinda slow. There are no changes in the icons, notification panel, quick settings and no major change in the interface also. But we also have new font which looks nice in my opinion. Long pressing the home screen, we get a few options like you can select multiple applications and uninstall them at the same time. You can also group them. Below we have wallpapers, widget and settings. This micro home settings is having a few options and I think it's very simple and impressive. Great job Xiaomi. So the home screen bottom is having search bar and I hope in future they integrate it with the Google Assistant or Google search. That would be awesome. Right now it's opening the Xiaomi search and Xiaomi's assistant. Swiping up we get the Xiaomi's feed. Nothing interesting here all in Chinese. But what's interesting is swiping left from the home screen cause that's where you get the weather information, shortcut applications and app suggestions. These are having clean animations and we also have the tracking information and all. So right now let's open every single application so that you can see the interface. Phone dialer, messages, camera, there's the camera settings. And there are some new applications, the Mi Mover, it's just like the OnePlus Switch. And there we have the Xiaomi Mi services and feedback. And I really like the opening animation and closing animation of these applications. Now the main reason these applications are asking for permission is cause of Android 10. That's great, right? These applications just cannot assess your camera or location without your permissions. So, great. Now let's check out the settings which is having tons and tons of new features. The My Device section shows MIUI 11. It's also having a few specifications, the micro specifications and all specification settings. It says Android 10. Here's the easter egg and tap the one twice. It start going round and round. You can make you with this thing. And here are a few more settings and interface. Now we also have the ambient display and lock screen. You can choose different styles. There are tons and tons of new options guys. You can choose manual options. You can customize them. And here's how it's gonna look like in the end. And this is the best ambient display wallpaper thing I've seen in any smartphone ever. The lock screen customization and all. I'm gonna show you the settings one by one. Display settings you can turn on the dark mode from there. The sound and vibration settings is having some new brand new user interface which looks really great. Notification settings you can manage the notifications. Home screen is having wallpapers, theme. We have separate settings for password and security. You can select pattern and face ID or fingerprint. The battery and performance is having new background animation which looks very nice. Applications and permissions, you can manage all the permissions from there thanks to Android 10. And additional settings is having full screen display settings and all. The screen time shows how much you have used the phone. It's just like digital well-being for stock Android phones. Which applications you use the most and you can control this thing. And at last we have the account sensing for handling your device accounts like Google or Twitter or Mi account. Great. So yes guys that's all with the MIUI 11 and I really like the new animations, new design and interface. 
it's clean, the animations are smooth and it's just impressive. See, I personally prefer stock Android because I like simple things, I'm a simple person. But for those who want something colorful, something amazing, something impressive, I think MIUI 11 got that for you. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of the latest videos. And peace out.